what i want to do basically is i want to create a script for this model or i want to basically go and implement it in my database i have created my data model i've designed my data model using the data modeler tool now i want to implement this data model in my database so what are my options to do that the option that is used to do that is known as forward engineering so implement the data model that you have designed in your data model or tool in your database now you have to go to the physical data model to be able to see that option so go to the physical data model and then on this side you'll see there is something called forward engineer so you just go click on this and this Pop up will come up. Now, this is giving you a lot of options over here of the schema that it will be generating. What do you want in your schema? All these options it is giving you, and the other options that will be there. So, that's okay. Let these options be there. Now, I want to see, or I want to generate this. I'm okay. I have then forward engineering, I want to generate this in my, generate these tables or schema in my database. So what I need to do is simply go and click on the generate button. Generate. When it says generate, it would ask you for authentication. Now we had selected the database initially when we designed the model as Oracle. So that's why it has taken Oracle over here. You have to give your ID and things, you have to connect and it would directly go into your database, connect to your database and create all these tables over there but before that i just want to see what is the script and i also want to have that option i do not want to connect directly to the database i want to be able to give this uh, data model to my dba who can have a look through it and if he wants some changes and he can implement it step by step right so that he can monitor the whole process so i do not want to do it directly i want to share the sql of this data model with the DBA and let him do it. Then in that case, you have to go to preview. And you can see that the SQL that has been generated. Now the SQL has been specifically generated for the Oracle database because that is what we selected when we designed this data model. So you have to keep in mind that you need to have your proper target database in place. Uh, when you design your data model, even in the tool. Now, if look at this, we'll be able to see the SQL that would be used to design the tables to create the tables in the database. So you have some create table courses. This is your table, right? The table that you created, you have your course ID, integer, not null courses, name, right, cash, 50, create unique index on courses, alter table courses, add uh, constraint, primary key on courses ID, right? Then you have your create unique index and all that. So you have your create table scripts and then you have your index creation and then you have your primary key creation that is an alter table statement they have added a constraint so all these tables with the primary key then student cases you have your integer not null everything over here create unique index alter you have added your foreign key indexes then at the end of it you see that there's some uh, trigger a trigger generated by Irwin. so you have Irwin build trigger over here uh, there's another trigger because Irwin has generated on its own. Now this is a perfectly okay fine script and you can share it with your DBA if you want. You can save it. You can save it as your template and share it later on. So you have all these options or you can just press the generate over here and generate it in your database by connecting. But before that, let us explore some options which we want to change over here. Now here, in my schema, 
I have all these options. I could have clicked on if I had all these cluster package contacts synonym sequence. If I wanted to create all these and I had designed them in my data model, I could just click on and the SQL would be generated for these. So you can select. You have the option to select or deselect. So if I would have created a package, I wanted to create a package. I could have clicked on the package, and then I would have uh, got the SQL for creating the package. In my generation that I just saw, I could have created a sequence using this too as well. Now we go to the column. We have the check constraint as create. We had the physical order default value create. Everything was create, so that's okay. We go to the index. Now the index was create index. The primary key, the alternate key, that was in the create statement. If we remember, then the drop index, all that is there. Okay, that's okay. In version entry, all these keys it would be creating. Let's create, go to the referential integrity uh, tab. Now here you can see that the primary key is created as an alter statement, alter primary key. We can also give it an option to be created as a create primary key. So now it would give it your statement would be the create primary key instead of altering your table to add a primary key. And then let's go to the trigger, and you can see that the Irwin generated triggers are added to your script, so you can define to not add them, and just uncheck this. All right. So these are different options which you can explore. What do you want? Do you want to create database script as well? Do you want the storage, the rollback, table space to be defined as well? So you can uh, add those. Let's see some of the differences that it would make. So first is your referential integrity. Uh, let's preview it once again and see how the primary key was generated. So this was a unique index created. That is okay. Then the table there was an alter statement altering the table and it added a constraint and created a primary key. Now I do not want it to be done this way. So let us change this to create primary key instead of alter primary key. And let's see what is the difference. Now let's preview. So now what has changed? Now your create table definition is like this. Your primary key is part of your create table definition. Instead of having a separate alter statement for the table, it's part of the create table statement. You can do it anyways. Both ways is fine. It just depends on what you need. And let's close it. Uh, we did not want the urban generated trigger, so we had deselected it. Let's select it and see. Preview. So if it is selected and we go down to the bottom, we'll see that there's some urban built in triggers. Now we do not want it to generate it in our table. So I just deselect it. And then I go and preview. And you'll see that they have been removed. Now, similarly for the foreign key, it's an alter table statement. Let's see if we can change it for the foreign key as well. So foreign key is, no, it's always, a, it's an alter FK. If I make it a create FK, let's see, preview. So in this table, your association table, your bridge table, instead of having separate alter statement, now you have your foreign key statements included in your create table statement. So this is how you can change various options over here. You can save it. Uh, your default schema generation is this. You can save your options, uh, uh, options that you have selected or deselected or the choices that you have made. And you can save them. Or you can open, there are no file names, okay. You can save as your XML file. You can save your, you can give some name to your this thing. So all these savings will be set.